So we'll assemble the main generator component. Um, yesterday we prepared the end plates um, with all the holes. There's uh, eight, eight holes to mount the actual core onto the end plates and three holes for the bearings which are mounted on the inside toward the, toward the rotor. The rotor will be on the inside. Um, and then five mounting holes uh, at the bottom to bolt it onto the, uh, the wooden base. So these are all prepared. Uh, these screws or these bolts will have to be probably have to be adjusted. Well, uh, they will have to be adjusted um, to to center the rotor in the bore so so it doesn't hit the stator uh, when it's rotating. Um, so that's we'll do a. a First, the, the rear bearing is, is uh, put in place, and we'll do a, a sort of a rough alignment into the uh, the rear bearing first. Uh, but but right now, this can be assembled. Um, we're going to fish the wires through. There's holes here for all eight of the wires. Uh, this is the wrong one. <laughs> this is the one with the eight holes. So. Uh, when we drilled these, <coughs> um, it's a, important to mark the position of where, where it's intended to go so that uh, um, they're properly aligned. It's the way we did it, we used one, one panel to center the holes on the other panel, to actually mark the holes on the other panel. So you have to keep them all, keep them in the same orientation um, that they were drilled. So it's it's good to make marks, assembly marks, so you can put it back together the same way. Um, okay, so the rear plate we're going to put together first. This bearing, yeah, this bearing is loose, a little bit loose. Um, now it's possible when we get this together that there won't be enough adjustability here, so we may have to take it back apart and make the mounting holes larger to get more adjustment room. We'll see where we end up. If, if uh, eventually this is going to be, uh, th this will be made from a, a good engineering drawing, um, and we'll just we'll have the proper locations to drill the holes. But th this is actually a prototype, and uh, we're just laying out all the holes by hand and by eye, and doing the best we can with it. So uh, that's why there's probably going to be some adjustment uh, to get the rotor um, spinning in the bore without hitting anything, without hitting the rotor. So I'm just going to get these wires started and uh, we drilled the holes so that a little bit of the insulation should be able to come through the hole and we'll have some Nice leads. Put an extra set of hands. Help you, Jim? Okay. Um, I think I think I'm all right here. So far. <laughs> uh, make sure I have them all in the right holes. <laughs> They should be big enough to let the insulation pass through. Yeah, it should be just right. so that when the plate's fully on there, there won't be anything binding. Um, just 
a little bit of free alignment here. Set up, uh, set up the whole thing. Um, I'm going to put the bolts through from the other side one at a time because this this will this is the back now and it probably won't get moved again unless uh, unless we have to expand these holes but we may be able to do that while the end plate is on um, we can just take the bearing out and you know if I need to make the holes larger we can do it from this side so this should work out we probably won't have to take this off again <coughs> Set these up one at a time.